a show and she wanted her in because she was it was like going to the circus and your star act sorry i know you're in the chat but you were a star act and there was no way on god's earth she was talking yet from the view imagine that was one of the one of yours in the chat 18 year old child up in the box that'd be disgusting i'd be horrified exactly horrified what i was hearing last night and actually i did I didn't go in the box because I didn't want to. Because I just thought, Angie, what the hell are you doing? But okay. hell, I haven't heard you say nothing bad about her, and I'm very and straight I won't. forward. I won't. That's exactly what you'll get with me. It's just, listen, all I'm saying is, no. Continuing here after today. She was going to take you to the police, Phil. We're going to continue for months. No, I'm not going to have that either. Listen, I can tell you the police don't take no notice of it. That's absolutely fucking fine. Oh my god. What exactly is she taking to the team? Yes. He's trying to bully you into silence, Chris. You can say what she wants about you. Listen, the argument I had with Pearl, I'm glad I had it. Um, she was being bullied up and she was building up and building up and building up. Because I tell you what, I didn't want to do Shut up, Dave. Look at that time. She um she called me that bad name, what she absolutely flipped what Torian called her, right? And right. Then she flipped at Miss Red for having Torian in the box after she'd called her that name. I proper forgive Angie mm -hmm. for calling me that name and move on. And what I said to her was, listen, Angie, we've both went at each other the worst for a, a whole year on this app, right? We even got to the point it was Sunder Smoke. Angie called it off and then for, for a couple of days, I stood back and I watched her, I thought, do you know, this woman's in a bad way with herself. She really is in a bad way. And I reached out to her. Me. I reached yeah. out to her. So whatever she says on there, I'm telling you, is lies. I reached out to her because this was a woman that was more to be pitied than laughed at. But she's always going to put that, that. She's always going to put that across because she's always going to be an alcoholic. So everyone for the rest of her life is going to go, oh, she's vulnerable. Oh, she's this. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just unfortunate that nice people like you come across mm -hmm. her. Well, okay. listen, my feelings were true that I had with um, Angie, I promise you. If somebody's my friend, and even now, if anybody's ever waiting for me to say this happened, that happened, if she says something that happened, I'll say she's bang on, she's true with what she said there. Yeah. I will say that. But bad from that to me, you're a fucking snake. You can't be trusted, and even your real life friends, if you're watching me in real life, I've had friends from being a kid and not one of my friends can ever come to me and say, Pearl, you're a liar. I remember once you said this what me and you talk about. Nobody ever do that. Do you know we heard her sister on camera one time saying it's disgraceful the way you treat our mother and this, this, this and this. And I'm, when I hear Angie go, and my niece, she's this age, I think, do you know about your sister is so angry that you keep bringing her niece up all the time and using her niece as an example because we already know what the sister thinks of her, for instance. So it just makes me very mad, this woman, these days. And the she doesn't think her sister alone. anymore, does she? I know, but she'll always use the sister's kid as an example. Yeah. It's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. She blocked me yesterday or the other day for being in a box with her and oh, Donna's life. She blocked me today. There'll be lots of years, and I'm sorry, and I can only apologize. It's not your fault that she's the one pushing oh, the block button. Do you know what I mean? Like she's pushing everyone across. away and proving herself to be an arsehole. From a like like to an just, I'm woman. just apologising. I'm sorry if any of you are caught in here. Oh, I'm okay. Blocked. I'm sorry. I can't. I'd rather talk to you, pal, because you're more sensible. <laughs> Justice for Dave getting muted. <laughs> oh, sorry, Babby. Wait, yeah, I'll unmute you. Dave, unmute yourself. There. Sorry, I forgot I'm about that. Fuck you, oh. man. I'm trying to fuck you, man. Angie, come here, babe. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. I, I knew Chelsea cared. Can I just say something, guys? I think you're going to anyway. She just craves. Uh, help all that she needs help there's something seriously wrong that lady and as everybody says in the comments she'll be drowning later on and she'll be doing this that and the other the place of a cause she'll be treating her mother again which is a total disgrace i mean i've lost my mother and to talk to the, to your mother the way she does she should be ashamed of herself she needs put in somewhere she needs help until she wants it herself she'll never get it 
Exactly. You want the help. You want to be able to get the help, or you want to be able to. What would you? What would you want to be looking for? You want to be able to help yourself before you ask for help, and she's not ready for help. And she says she owns half the mother's house. She doesn't because the mother said to her, "I'll pay for a flat for you somewhere. I'll buy you a flat." You know what I mean? So like, it's not Angie's half house at all. She just makes all these lies. Does that have to mention? I can't be good for it. Really can't. I mean, I don't, but surely with the system not going part of it then? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, okay. I was only joking. You have to make light out the situation, don't you? I do feel sorry yeah. for her mother because imagine, you know what I mean, you've got your, your daughter at the end of the day, so she's really conflicted, she knows it's awful behaviour, she can't do nothing about it and stuff, you know what I mean? So she, that woman is literally stuck in a hellhole. Yeah. I'm just I mean, shocked by it all. They can't be good for her either. Like, oh, the live music at night time as well. She just said it's come to this now for days and days and days. She's going to spark lives up about me, Dave, EQ. Alex. Yeah, because I'm going to keep it real. Like sometimes when you when I used to go in a battle, I used to do because there was a bit of fun and banter with you and her, and it'd be good. And but only a short amount of time because you're only tolerant for a little bit of time. But um, and now you, I'm going to respond because she's talking about me. Oh my Jesus, Lord! Thank you, baby. Oh, but you know what, Dave? I understand that because there's certain times when I when I am I speak like this about Angie, and then certain times she she seems all right, and and you you end up getting drawn in. But then, yeah. like, you can't stay drawn in, then you know what I mean, because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's right. And you just think, you know what? Fuck this. It's just like I've been telling you... everyone for ages, Dave. My platform. Anyone who listens to this alcoholic, you wouldn't listen to the tramp outside home and bargain asking for your trolley pounds. So why would you take life advice from this person? So I've been saying it for a while now, and I haven't been going back on it, and I've stopped going yeah. in a box and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to go on about Pearl and Pearl's innocently sitting on a live talk about something completely different. I come and told her, and that's why Pearl even that's knows. That's how I stuff. knew about it, EQ. Come and told me. I didn't even realise she was fucking kicking off. Yeah, because oh, I thought God. it was so hypocritical that she calls everybody out. So even me, when I fell out with Miss Red and then I started divulging things on Red, you're only saying this because you fell out with her. Yes, I know that and everyone knows that, but you're now doing the same to Pearl. Yes. Yeah, exactly. She exactly. just literally said she's doing 10 o'clock lives, 12 o'clock lives, and 5 o'clock lives. Tell us to do ace as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love a bit of competition. Tell us to do 24 hours. Well, I seen a video this morning saying, eh, that pearl, um, doing a 12 o'clock F page. When the fuck do I do it? I tried to do it once and it was about bullying and I caused fucking a pro on the app. So I thought, <laughs> it ain't for me. <laughs> yeah, don't do that one. <laughs> But I did, I'd done it once, and I said, right, we're going to have a thing about bullying. <gasps> Fuck me sideways, it turned into the biggest bully live ever, and everybody was at each other, and I said, well, that's the first and the last time I'll be doing the effort. Well, Pearl and everybody listen to this, for example, she's sitting there giving life advice out to some, she doesn't even live life, she doesn't leave that bedroom, and she's yeah. given everyone life advice when she's got no life, that, I know what I mean, and the people who join her box all day, I don't mean like now, because people have got like kids and dropping off at nursery so you've got like a little mid morning thing going on but the people who sit there all day long in those boxes i think you are taking this advice from this person who is an alcoholic who does all this shit he says they sit with the father all this and you, you're actually going along with it and saying yeah 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 you're right you're absolutely right how is she right sitting in a bedroom never moving yeah, that's how I'm confused how you're hitting the nail on the head. These people speak in her boxes and that, like they're well to do people, they've got great manners, yet they're taking advice off someone that said that she's done things with an animal, she's done things with her father, she's fucking abused her fucking mother, she's fucking sat in a room constantly, never comes out, she sits on live and has H's, and yet all these people that think they've got great opinions and they're really amazing in real life. Sit, would you go to this woman if she was your doctor? No, absolutely not. So I'm confused how these these people really are playing up to it as well, I think. Exactly, Dave. Hallelujah, you've had the light bulb moment. Be I'd, be, <laughs> I'd be more disturbed, Dave, if I come out of the doctors and she was the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just worse than you went in, wouldn't you, but... Oh, honestly. Please don't forget that, everybody. What Dave's saying, what I'm saying. You would never take life advice from this person. So how are they right about anything? Yeah, so how are they having the right to sit there and say, well, I'm a well-to-do person. And I do this for an income. I do this for a job. I've got this much money and all this, and I'm so experienced and clever. Yet you're fucking sat there 
agreeing with something that is completely wrong what Peter someone is saying. No, but you had people in there, Dave, that thought they was professionals on this 18-year-old girl. Mm. They wasn't professionals. Mm. There's only one professional on here, and that's me, and I'm a professional right. scammer. I'll leave you that was, like, like, I'll second that. That was the worst yesterday. Was like, just, yeah. That was horrendous. It was. It was so bad. I think that, Jake, my, what I was saying, I think people misunderstood with my video. I said, is it named Jane Ann? She's a very knowledgeable person. And I, I, I've, I've added her because I think there might be some times when I want to speak to that Jane. So I was saying, I met that Jane through, Ann, uh, through Angie. And every, every, and Angie was saying, look, she's really good. She's, she can help you with your head and she, someone to talk to. She's a very good professional. So I watched that Anne lives a few times and i thought you know what this this lady is quite good but yes. so then when and when that jane and said i don't think this lady should be in this box because obviously she's experienced you know she's vulnerable no matter what she's done she is still a young girl yeah. uh, and angie says well i'm not kicking her out of the box she's got a choice to leave but hang on if you're if you're not taking this advice of someone that you're promoting and saying that's good with helping people how do, what, what, well, you, you're deluded in the head to be claiming mental health all the time because you're allowing a platform to tarnish a young girl. Yeah, do you know why she, she kicked her in the box? She couldn't have, have no drama, no news coming in. <sighs> Jane is lovely, really. And she, I'm sure it is roundabout. I don't know. On a tea time, is it she got? I don't, I really don't know. Can I think. ask a question then? If anybody just see this Jane, right? Yes. I'd like to ask a question that's probably going to go uh, uh, against everybody. Jane, I'd like to know why this Jane bothers with Angie. <laughs> sorry, Hale's got more views than Miss Red. <laughs> sorry for a day, that's why. Yeah, I know, but if, if, if surely to God, you've got to see what this, what's being said and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And you've got to think, well, you know what? Um, I'm too good for this. You know, this lady don't want my help. What can I possibly do next when you could have just see a see the reason, Dave? The reason she bothers is because she's a mental oh, she's health. In the comments, um, she's, she's a, like, right, she's okay. a counselor, isn't she? Jane. So she's got empathy. Um, empathy. Sorry, Jane, can I ask this question then? Oh, okay. Jane, I'm going to ask you this question then. You say you see pain in Angie. Do you not see pain in everybody else Angie talks about? Do you not see pain in the people that are being put in Angie's box on a big, massive platform to be exploited to these people? If you see these people are struggling, like, it's not just always about Angie. Jane wants to come up. Um, yeah, Pearl, can you just explain to Anya that we can't let her in the box? You don't want her up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, Bab. You're all right. Keep trying to come up. No, mods do not, under no circumstances. And Anya, no, I'm against you. Baby, but the words in that, Baby, I'm not having you on the stage. No, I'm sorry. Yes. So, Jane, I'm just wondering, right? Um, obviously, you're a very knowledgeable lady, and you help a lot of people. And you said you see pain in Ange, right? But how long do you have to let it go on for as a professional to allow Angie to open her platform for other people to get pain through her platform? I.e., when she's saying you're amazing but she's going against what you say when you see a vulnerable person in there and you disagree with it with your profession, how long do you have to keep saying, I see Angie's pain, I see Angie's pain? Do you understand where I come from? Because her platform is giving so much pain to people, especially a young girl and even adults, men and women that go in the box that get crucified to a point where then they're sat in her box crying, but Angie isn't taking your advice, so why are you still saying you see a lot of pain in her yeah and that's where the confusion is dave it's yes i see pain in angie but i see pain in a lot of people that go into angie's lives and i've been contacted by a lot of people that's feeling a bit triggered on the app at the moment so i don't just go in for angie um, yesterday when i give the advice uh, somebody dropped me then and there's nothing well, you got dropped from the box when you said i don't think this lady should be in there you got dropped well, I said, this is a vulnerable life. I don't think this situation is going to get any better. I actually seen something that everybody else wasn't seen. And I don't think that a mother and daughter should be yeah, working totally in a agree. box together. I don't agree with that. I agree the mum should have come up and give her side. I totally agree with that. But I think 
the young girl should have been dropped. Because so is that not down to the lady whose boxes it is? To I mean, she's saying that she, the lady, Angie's got mental health and she's suffering, and she's taking advice from you. So surely to God, she cannot see another person that's in the boxes struggling, or is it because there was five thousand six hundred people in there? She allowed that lady to struggle and laughed at the point where, well, I'm not really bothered what this young girl's going through. No matter what she's done with her parents, that's their business. It's nothing to do with the app. No one deserves to fucking try and get clout of someone telling a, a family story on TikTok. But when there's so many views. The mental health goes out the card. Do you understand where I'm coming from, Jane? And yeah. there's no adv she's not taking advice from a professional. And, uh, what I oh, can yeah. Only, what I can only say. Another see thing. Oh. I've got mental health as well. Oh, have you? Listen, yeah. while Can we let Jane answer me a minute, please, if you don't mind? Can I just tell everybody while she's in, Dave? Sorry, then she can. Everybody, if anybody wants to speak to anybody, give Jane a follow up because she is a, a, a mental health, she is in the mental health nurse, whatever you call it. So if anybody, and she does do um, a live on mental health, so if you. Yeah, I watch her live. But I'd like her just to answer that question. Yeah, I want to hear the answer. I want to hear the answer to the question, oh, Jane, if you do. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so when I jump in the box, Dave, it's not just for Angie, it's for a few other people, and it's sort of fake to guide other people on their triggers at that time. Um, you know, I made the decision last night myself that maybe I'll just go and sit to my own and talk to people through their triggers on that um, this week anyway. So I can't physically offer somebody help that does not want help and can't see that they need help. You know, you've, you've got to be able to want that help and need that help. And I felt that that young, that young girl was trying to control from the minute she came on and manipulate that situation and in my thought is I felt that the mum might get torn apart hence why I went into the live and yeah, as I say I was dropped and I left then so I didn't really continue on looking for it because obviously nobody wanted my support in the box then so I left the situation alone. Yeah, but then the next, I know you're saying that young girl is going to, you see, we're deflecting it. We're saying that young girl was going to manipulate the live. Let's be real, yeah. She is still a young girl. She's an old child, older child, but a young lady, yeah. And if you're saying the things and doing the things that the lady's already doing, the girl's doing, and surely to God you can see th there is a bit of problems there. There's a bit of trouble there for the young girl, you know. So immaterial, whether you think something's right, what she's doing, or whether it's wrong, she's still a young child. She's 18. And so there's got to be a bit of trouble there. So why would it be acceptable for that to be put out there on a platform in front of 5,600 people when you're claiming someone in your box is great with mental health and that, that person that's got that platform is going against your advice and allowing this girl, no matter what she's done, because she's still a young child to me. I know people are saying she's an adult, but to me, 18, I listen, that's, that's, a, that's still a baby. Um, and she's going against your advice, but claiming to everybody else you're amazing at what you do, and she's allowing this girl to get tarnished. I know, Dave, but again, I can't force Angie to take my advice. I can only give the advice, and if the other person accepts it, and I can't stand a judgment against another person, you yeah. know, against anything that I work for. You know, I'm a mental health counsellor. I'm a mental health responder. Yeah. I offer that help. I offer that guidance, you know, and um, mm. I'm a private counsellor off this app. So it's not that I can just professionally say, I believe this is a vulnerable live and I think it should cut. And if the person that's running that live, I cannot demand or, or make the situation any worse by trying to convince the person to drop the right, There's live. There's a comment there in the chat to you, but 18 is an adult. I'm going to say this to every parent that's in this fucking chat, yeah? Surely to God you see your 18-year-old as your baby. Yeah, listen to it. Think of it like this. 
<clears throat> for instance, so a 17-year-old you wouldn't allow to get in the box, but somebody who's just turned 18 who can only then probably want to be thinking about leaving the home. They've li- they're not going to leave home at 16 just because they can. So they're still living with parents generally nine times out of ten. You're saying that is a fully mature person yes. who is fully compassmentous, you know, who hasn't even had the keys to the first home yet, you know what I mean? Maybe might not have had the first relationship. Just because the word is there, you're an adult in the law of 18, it doesn't mean that you're, you 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 are there. You, not so, equipped with the right skills that are proper You're a parent adulthood. in this chat and you think you would, you would sit there and say, well, my child can do do what they want now because they're 18, she's an adult. I don't care what you say, your 18 year old is still your baby. I'm so sorry if you disagree. Yeah. Your child's always going to be your child. You know, the mum, I didn't see the mum saying anything wrong apart from, you know, don't bring our private business onto this app. Um, you know, especially in a big creator's app. I felt the mum was trying not to, to shout her daughter that, but to protect her daughter at the same point, because she knows she knows what's going on in the family life. She knows what's going on behind closed doors. None of us in this app know that. And she knows the next move her daughter's going to do. And she's obviously a struggling 18 year old girl with situations that's going on in the family life. Well, um, let me just reply to this. Angie's screen recording us. Angie, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to say this because I know she's got us on. You're saying you're going to go for EQ next. You're going to go for me next. This ain't a hate campaign, Angie. What? Would no one had a problem with you? You've come live and you've started to slander every single one of us. And now all of a sudden you're turning against people. If you think that you're going to come out with the mental health card and say we're bullying you when you have started this, I don't understand why you think there's not going to be a reaction. That you're the one that's fired alive up this morning and started talking, saying you're going to out us all. I just don't understand it. When deep down you know it's going to make your mental health bad. It's going to make our fucking mental health bad. Why can't it just be dropped and why have you got to carry it on? But Dave, if you... she's saying I'm next. You think I give two shiny shakes to you, alcoholic piece of scum? You really think you, I would pay one little bit of attention to you or anything you could ever fire my way, love? Deflection, deflection. You're just a disgrace. Surely, surely there's a better way to get through this. You know, Pearl, you and Angie were good friends. And, you know, it's a, it's a very sad situation. By the way, James, I'm not being horrible, but yes, we were very good friends. Very good friends, I thought, right? But this was all because me, Dave, DJ and Karma Kaz were having a bit of fun. But let me tell you the story before that. Angie was on with us. Angie dropped over Mad Hatter. Angie's telling everybody I should have dropped to go and see how she was. Angie wasn't upset on that live. She went to check on Mad Hatter. Then everybody said Angie's back on her own live. DJ requested her three times. This was only between 10 and 20 minutes after she was first on my screen. Uh, DJ um, requested her, pardon me, three times and three times she declined. That's when we got Karma Kaz in, and we had a good night. She wasn't a part of it. She chucked her rattles out the pram. Bang! Bob's your uncle, and your auntie. That was when the fun kicked off. That's I watched that, that live the other night, Pearl, and uh, she did go off. I thought it was really good of her because she did go off to help my dad her because she was in a mess. Yes, and but, good. That was yeah, good. Yes. Yeah, but they were both, to be honest, none of them could help each other because they were both in the same mess. But what I'm trying to say is... Listen, I, she I, never went to help Mad Hatter. She went and appeared to be helping in inverted commas because she was butthurt that she was pushed out of what was going on over on a different live. So she claimed that was a reason. She's full of shit. Pearl, well, can I just say something? Because it's going crazy in the chat about this, Anya. Anya, sh- Pearl isn't talking about you. And if you continue, I'm going to have to mute you because Anya, you listen, keep saying that she's not allowed to talk about herself, but you're all talking about She's not on her. my platform. Spark your own live with me, baby, and you can get her wherever you want. And you're not doing it on my platform. So. And Anya, they're not talking about you. So please just stop in the comments, please. Sorry. Sorry. And this, Anya, just goes to prove the point. You are 18, but still a child. Yeah. <laughs> Adult would not behave how you're and everyone stop talking to her. Like, I mean, like, guys, no, guys, everyone... stop mentioning the lady's yeah. name, stop, stop talking to her like, like, like she's some adult, even, even Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. You, we, he turns into a contradicting live, guys. Just yeah. just leave, leave the young girl alone. And if you have to block her, block her. 
But that's don't... what I would rather you do. Yeah, Listen, you. just end this right here and now. Can mods? Can you just uh, mute her? Don't block her. Mute her. We'll, we'll block her because she's not be ever coming upon the platform. It's not her, Pearl. It's people in the comments. If people just didn't at her when she said something, then she'd get bored. Yeah. But uh, the comments are just keep atting her, telling her to. Not very nice comments, and I just don't think it's fair for her to see that. And I just you can all see I don't read me comments. Everybody else is watching yeah. comments, and I never do even on a normal live. Sorry, everybody, that's me. I'm sorry. Pearl, I wasn't having a go there, you know. What, you was... what I was trying to say to you there, I have seen the other side. What Angie said. Angie said I was upset. Pearl should, if she was a friend, she should have dropped from that box. And come and see, was I all right? Angie wasn't the one who was upset. She went to check on Mad Hatter. So why am I going to drop to go and see, is Angie all right? It was nothing up for Angie. Exactly. Angie. Exactly. I, I agree with fine. you, Pearl. You, all you did was let her go to help someone else and you was carried on having a good night. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I saw you I was trying to get her back in the box. That, that, that's true. I wouldn't block the girl. Just leave her mute. She hasn't done anything. Cause she's unique. She, if she's being spoken about, she's got a right to listen. Yeah, yes, that's, yes, that's just true. mute her, don't block her, just mute her. But, Anya, please, me baby, understand where I'm coming from. You are just young, and I'm not, there's a lot of people in, and everybody's going to have different views, and it's not coming up on my platform because it's not Can my. I just view. ask you all one question, and then I'll leave you all. Mm -hmm. I've been on the app not long, and I'm not a big creator, and I just do my little thing. I'm 57. Yesterday, I went on a live, and they said, I was spamming them and something about Discord, which I don't I haven't understand. It was so bad that I got bullied. I didn't want, I, I wanted to unalive myself yesterday and I've had to have my crisis team come in. There was three grown women calling me. Crisis a team. Uh, the, uh, the awful names, awful. And I, 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 I don't understand that. I don't understand the, the, the negative of this act. Let, let me tell you something then, my darling. This muted. Uh, cat, Nikki. Can you just stop muting people. Everybody's entitled to the opinion. Mod, please, I'm not going on. Just oh, Mika, we mute Pearl. Is um, Lanya. Uh, Nikki. Yeah. Let me tell you something, right? No matter what you're going through, no social media app should drive you to the point. Do you know why? They're not your people in real life. They're not your friends. They're not your family. Some people on a social media app will go out their way to push and poke and make yeah. you jump off a bridge. Okay, if you ain't got the strong mind to come on this app, I don't think this app would be for you mm -hmm. until you've got through what you're going through. Because unfortunately, if someone knows you're going through something, they will use that against you and they will push and poke you as far as they can. And then you're coming off this live, you're getting upset and then people have moved on to someone else and they don't give a fuck if they never see you again. I like to come on the app to be yes. a secret. So what you need to do that are is you come on, you come onto the app, you do your own thing, and you stay out the way of what triggers you. You've got to put you first, right? So you've got to think. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to listen to it. It's going to make me not want to, you know. So you don't go into that live. But then if you want to go live, you go live and you talk about. Your, I thought your... they was my friends. I just all oh, the question I asked. Now tell me if I'm wrong, anyone. The question I asked was, how's Lucy? And with that, they jumped on me. Why are you so bothered, though, about opinions of people you don't know? I am, because that's what I yeah. am. I, but I why, am though? Kind because of... these people don't matter to, to it, you or your life. They're yeah, not going to impact very you in any way. I'm a empathetic person. I can and... be your counsellor. I'll help you. <laughs> Fuck you, now that ain't going to go well. I am a secret gifter on the app. Honestly, I'll Okay, I'll add you, babe. Yeah, I've had to do Nikki, Nikki, can I say one thing to you? See Jernan over this side? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the like, mental health and everything. Yeah. If you want to give her a little follow-up because she does lives purposely for this and this is a good place to go to. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've I mean, it's probably like this it. live, to be honest, Nikki. This live probably, ain't, even though I'm in it, this live probably isn't for you because that we're talking about sensitive things that none of us want to talk about. I just wanted well, to understand the app a bit more, and I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's well, it's we've been on here. Chelsea's, Chelsea's been on here ever since she got out of jail, and she still don't um, uh, understand it. Isn't that right, Chelsea? Mm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, honestly, like uh, the only way out is there. I mean, so, I, I yeah. do want to follow Pearl because 
uh, and I do comment. I mean, I know she doesn't read all her comments, but she's oh, she's quite a motherly really figure. Can I just, a can I just say, all these people telling Nikki to get off the app. Everyone has the right to be on this app and not yes. be attacked. It is going to happen no matter what we do. Like, but she has got a right to be on this app just as much as anyone else does. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying it that. No, I'm, I'm saying passing the comments, Dave. Not you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm saying if you're coming on the app. Uh, be, be have the right mindset and pick the right places. If you're not in, if you're not in the right mindset, but you still want to come on the app, find the places to go. And you know, as you can tell, the way Evil Queen's talking, her platform's probably for you. And it's not for you. Sorry, not for you. It was just having a bit of fun. It was it was a release, you know, twenty four years of domestic violence, and then I'm not. Be, I don't want to. Any, any like, oh, I'm sorry. Just say Jeeva Queen Big B and I'll, I'll help you every night. It was, it was just a bit of freedom. It was about helping people and it was having a giggle and and, and being allowed to have friends. And that's what it was about. All it is on here, well, you know, if you've been in the live lots of times, listen, you're welcome in here anytime. But what you know the problem you got with TikTok is? nowadays? Mental health has become the topic for content. Yeah. That is the problem, and it triggers so many people, and some of the people that are talking about it haven't even got it. But because they're running with the um, mental health, they think that that's what's going to make them make something on this app or make them yeah. people like them on this app. And deep down, they ain't got mental health. They don't give a fuck about mental health. They just care about the views. See, I, I'm not worried about views. I, I don't go on live for gifting. I think I had £10 for gifting once and I give it to Great Ormond Street. It's, I'm not about that. I'm about, you know, there's a few people that have got cancer on here and I've secretly gifted them. And that makes me happy, not yeah. because I've asked for it. And that's the reason I wanted to be but on this But just app. think, Nikki, if you uninstalled, you'd never have to worry about this again. People would disappear completely. Yeah. But Nikki, that's this is a perfect life for you, Honestly, I promise you. That's a lie, Chelsea. Cause <laughs> when when I come off this app, you're still in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, but Nikki Nikki's not sexualizing me, you know. <laughs> I was just about to say, Nikki, um, we do a live at 8 o'clock, it's safe, it's a safe place. Excuse me, I do 8 o'clock. Excuse me, Jay. I've got a great platform, Evil Queen, I've only got a few. Excuse oh, me, I must, I must say, Queen, I do love you. Yeah, um, um, you yeah, so I feel like I'm making you not give a fuck. We I've, helped, like, yeah. I've helped everyone on this app. Really. Listen, do you know when I first come on this app, I'll tell the truth a couple of times, all but that, this app nearly broke me, right? Why, why is Angela telling everybody I'm going to prison? Now, I've got what they call rhino skin. <laughs> and if I'm done anything, you told her you were anything, this face ain't taking no whatsoever accountability. I'm going to say, put me on the notice. Yes, there's many women on here. Okay. And that's now she's know. telling people I've threatened women and I'm going to prison. Oh. Uh, but Dave, you told her you were going to prison for 25 months the other day as a joke. Yeah, but she's uh, telling people I threatened women on the app. I'm going to leave you all. Oh. I just want to thank you all sincerely for me. Angela, let me just speak to this. Listen, Angela, I hope you're watching this. I'm the biggest beg. You fucking come on months ago and ask for a washing machine. I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but the last place I'd want to come and ask for gifts for a washing machine is TikTok. Please never call me a bloody beg, okay? Because that's one thing. I come on, I compete. I've been on here three years. I didn't come on this app because I fucking pretended to play with it's my dog. He's not a beg, he's a manipulator. You know, <laughs> and for you to say I'm a beg when you literally come on and say, I need a washing machine, do you yeah, want to we, battle? Yeah, can we keep it PG? Because, you know, with all due respect, um, Angie is my sister, you know? So we yeah. have to put that into consideration, all right? <laughs> Excuse me? Boxes around. Everybody who spoke. Matt's on speaking now, but you can change them around. Sorry. Yeah, guys, I'm going to... Evil Queen and Dave, leave them in. I'm going to jump out, Carol, but hopefully... Yeah. Thank you, is. but anybody needs anything to do with mental health, give Jane and a follow -up. You can drop me if you what want. What time's your life, Jane? Yeah, I'll, I'll drop Dave. Yeah. Fucking Never crazy. mind, Pearl. Drop Dave. What time's the line? Yeah, you can drop me if you want. Five o'clock, Chelsea, shut the fuck up. You said eight o'clock. Oh, it's eight o'clock, No, it's not eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I only get about ten people in it, but no ten people way. that I can learn to deal with triggers. Yeah. Anyone who watches Jane, come and watch Jane. What time do you do them, Jane? 
Eight I, o'clock. I've, got, I've got a dare for someone in the chat. I've got a dare for someone in the chat. I have got a dare for Paul the Lion King to go to Angie and send a uni. <laughs> Okay, send it to me. <laughs> I have got a lot of pictures. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Well, I'm going to jump out now, guys. Everybody have a good day, and hopefully this comes down for you. We won't see you at 8 o'clock, Jane. Okay, thank you. Thank we you. won't bye. be seeing you at 8. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to stump out the competition again. <laughs> listen, listen, Chelsea, come back when you're relevant, sweetheart, all right? Can I, can I quickly say something? I'm really, really sorry. I hope everyone's okay. Um, oh. I just think mental but, health, because yeah. I, I struggle with mental health really bad. Like last week, I, I nearly did end my life. I really did. Oh. You know, really, really close because I've just been bullied a lot. Oh um, my God, pale, the, the people are coming in trauma dumping. No, I'm not because, no. listen, it's not about this, this man. <laughs> listen, Jane's just, just, Lauren, did you fully Jane up when she was in the chat? No, no, I didn't, no. Right, well, oh, look for oh, Jane really. on. She's a mental health um, something. We can't be having all this. Yeah, no, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> no, I'm just saying mental health is just not like is that people are not taking it serious. Yes. Yeah, so what was the cause of that then? Like, let me just. No, we don't want to know. No, 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 no. Oh no, no, my goodness. Chelsea, shush a minute. Fuck sake. Excuse me. Don't and I just put it out there as well. Listen, and I know uh, this is not going to go down well, but any trauma dumping on here, it's a galaxy. Man, yes. Evil Queen, you trying to go. Galaxy time. Team on it. 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 Team on that's Stop not talking. It's not because I'm going to talk. Oh, wait. Hello. Good morning. This is madness. <laughs> we don't want to know. Who's oh, that? my God, this is crazy. Right, mods, drop them all out. Leave um, Jade and Matt and uh, Evil Queen and Gemini. I'm a fucking hell man. I can't believe oh, my headphones coming up saying they were nearly ending the lives. No, listen. Oh. Right, listen, listen, listen. So our EQs at 8 o'clock. Alex Briggan is on at 12 o'clock for his FY page. Um, also, Angie's on at 12 o'clock with the exposure. Um, and he's gone. It's more than likely, I don't know, he hasn't Please, Has he? I think he accidentally got dropped. I don't know. He likes no, to I can't believe that pill. Did you hear when they were all coming up? Oh, good lord, that was terrible. No, listen, I don't do lives last, like that. <laughs> because, um, you do. Yes, Dave's on a twelve too. So everyone, Pearl's got a news channel on every day from ten in the morning. You can come in and give her all your problems, the agony. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the galaxies I'm going to get because any trauma dumping on here is a galaxy times two. Just let me know. If not, you ding from the fucking box. Can I just put it out there? And I'm that's sure. cheap. Uh, that's cheap, you know what I mean? Yes, but listen, if you want to talk, a galaxy times two. So, end of, no compromising. And if it goes on longer than 10 minutes, it's a galaxy or you dropped again. Yeah, and that's, that's cheap. But uh, have a lovely rest of your day, Pearl. You too, my EQ. And thank you for letting us know that um, somebody was um, going on about us. Because, like I say, I mean, if it wasn't for you, what the fuck would I do, my EQ? Yeah, exactly. We won't have no poison pen letters against it. We will uh, not. We will not. not. See you so, later. Love you. Yeah. Love me, baby. Thank Goodbye, you. Bye, everybody. Love. See you Bye. later. Bye. See you a day, yourself, everybody. Um, with our. Uh, Hold on a minute, hold on, hold on. I've just seen Irene in the box. I don't know what I've done. Oh, there she is, there she is. Pearl? Yes, Matt? Just really quickly, I've been desperate to come up because uh, this, is, this is not trauma dumping, I promise. I'm not even trying to justify it. I was hoping to catch Chelsea as well. That, I love you and Chelsea. Is that your face? It is my face, yes. <laughs> uh, that's not the same Matt that was in here before. No. No, no. no. I, I, oh, it's a different map. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm all here. I'm all about positive vibes and stuff. And what I was going to say to a lot of people that are saying, like, this app can cause them to kind of go through periods of yeah. stuff from MH. Like, 
I was exactly the same when I joined the app in lockdown. I took myself off for a while. And the reason for that was I was following the likes of Chelsea. I was following the likes of Pearl. I seen some of the drama that was brought to your door. And to be honest, as a viewer, it's entertaining. And you guys at the shit end of it and get that. But as a viewer, it's entertaining. The problem with that is because you're then kind of watching these people lives and stuff, people are following you. You're attracting drama. And I took myself off the app because I couldn't deal with it for a long time. I felt very negative. But anyway, I come back on. I'm now doing my own thing, all about positive mindset, personal growth and stuff. And I've changed the way I use the app. And it's a complete different experience. All I'm saying to people is like, I, I'm not a professional or nothing. Like I've suffered stuff. I've gone through stuff. But I now enjoy the app. I've now built my own community. I'm now getting gifted. I'm now going live. I've now joined an agency. I think you, you can take out from this app what you put in and you attract what you attract, you know, or you, you attract what you put out there. Well, the only reason I went yeah. to the rant this morning is because Evil Queen fetched to me attention that I was getting slated left, right and centre. Uh -huh. uh, that was why I was uh, having, like, going on one this morning. But listen, it is what it is, and all that I'm saying to everybody that's left, do never think that I will be, um, I don't know what the proper, like, saying whatever my conversation is with anybody, if they say something, I will say, and if it's right, I'll say that was 100% right. Mm -hmm. Just like I did this morning. She yeah. said something that said that was 100% right. Because I won't hide anything in. So that's all I'm saying. The only reason there was anything fetch this platform this morning was because she went on for no reason at all because I reposted a video yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I always say to my people, I always say to them, do you know what? If you come on this app with the good intentions and good morals, you don't, yeah, need, to you don't need to validate yourself to anybody. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, listen, guys, I know you've got a busy life, so I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you for having me up. You're um, welcome. Have a lovely day, Matt. Thank See you, guys. Bye take bye. care. I love yous, too. Do you, think, do you think, Pearl, maybe she's just um, been stubborn and took it too far now? So she's just <laughs> continuing it on? Thank you for that, me little berry act. Thank you. I love them. <laughs> listen. <laughs> It was over reporting a video. I've done nothing wrong. It, that was the way I felt. Everybody is entitled to the opinions. Yeah. I think what Dave said in that video was not 99%, it was 100% bang on. It should never have happened. So that's why I reposted the video for. And that was just to let people know that this is still, listen, I know she's 18, but she's still a child. My boys is from going from nearly 40 down to 33. They're still my babies. They'll always be my babies and you always protect them. So that's all that I was doing. She's not allowed up because I am protecting um, her mental health. She, and that's the only reason why I'm not letting her up. Morning, Irene. How are you? I'm all right, darling. You okay? I'm good. I'm good. Honestly, I'm good. 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 What's your right. exposure what? at 12? Right, I'm glad that um, to see you with your smile back on your face <laughs> because I've got to say this, Pearl, for the past week, you have looked deflated. Mm. You you weren't the person that you were a month, two months ago. You were deflated. And I, I am honestly glad to see that smile, that happy person mm. that we have been watching for a long time. No, listen, I'm back to myself and whatever said, whatever said, it said, I can't do anything about it, but <coughs> I'm me. If anybody wants to know anything, come and ask us. If it's the truth, I'll tell you. If it's lies, I'll tell you. But I'm back to me. And I don't yeah, because you to... take accountability. That's what it yes. is, Pearl. You yes. do take accountability for your actions. Yeah. But listen, like lots of us, if we have conversations with friends off the app, and I'll say, she was a bit of a Kent. Yeah, oh, but you do with your own friends in real life. I'm saying. It's just like any of us going off the app yeah. to your friends. So if I've spoke about anybody, I've spoke about them. And I'll say I've spoke about them. Yeah. If I was in a bad mood with that person at that time, so what? Everybody is entitled to say what they want to say. But I haven't said it on an app. Whatever I've said, I've said it to a friend. Look, this, this is my view. I mean, people might not agree with me, but I say as it is. I think staying your lane with your people, yes. people you can trust, trust now, Pearl, because, you know, but I am doing all Andy does for a lot for drama. Friend. Andy does a lot for drama. She slates people to get a well, reaction. Because, listen, my Irene, of course she's going to get massive views <laughs> in because it's all surrounded with drama. 
right? And yeah. this is, I'm nosy. I like to go where the drama is and be nosy. Do you know what so I'm saying? It's only a natural thing. But that that's normal thing, even on, on off the app, that is a normal thing for people. If you see a drama in the street, what do you do? You walk up and watch it. Mm. You know? So, no, just keep smiling, Pearl. I'm glad to see that smile back on your face. I've been telling oh, you that every so day. Mm -hmm. And stay with the people that you can truly trust now, Pearl. You see, when there wasn't this going on this morning, listen, there'll usually be however many, 500, whatever people, however many people's in, but they come for a little chat, a bit of carry on and laugh with me. They're not coming in here to be me going on screaming and I'm going to do this to that and that to this. They're just coming to see me. We don't no, want if to... it's not you, it's Alex. It will be somebody else next well, week, exactly, Pearl. Exactly, but listen, it's as simple as this. Um, so there's lots of lives at 12 o'clock uh alex brigan dave durans angie uh and i don't know who else will be going but everybody we're getting exposed so get your popcorn in enjoy the show and if anybody's got any questions or anything afterwards feel free when i'm live to come back and ask us all about them oh another exciting eventful day on tiktok <laughs> Right, listen, everybody, listen, it's a oh, I'm going to go, Pearl. Love you loads, darling. Hi, Irene, love you too, and have a lovely day. Thank you, my baby. Listen, everybody, thank you very much for coming in and having a laugh and a carry on this morning um, and being serious as well, I suppose. But listen, thank you, everybody, for all your gifts, for getting me... Um, me likes and everything up but i have to go off and i will be back on at five o'clock oh thank you my sally i will be back on at five o'clock whether there's two of you's in or five of you's in i will be back on at five o'clock but listen all of you have a blessed day Mwah. big love and enjoy the fireworks today what will happen right that's all i can say see you all later bye me babies five o'clock and i'll be back <laughs>